I have known Ren actually since she was about 18 years old, uh, believe it or not, when I was working as a director for the MCC Youth Company. Um, and it was a while ago, but that's actually when she first started to write the first few scenes of what would become the siblings play. So we've known each other a long time, and you know, she asked me to do a reading of it, um, I think back in like 2014 or so, uh, when we were starting the Middle Voice Theater Company at Rattlestick. Um, and ever since then, uh, we really just clicked as collaborators. I think it's a great new American play. You know, to me, it's a lot about the way that the failure of the American family results from the failure of the American dream. And therefore, it's a story that's relevant to all of us. There's a lot of different ways that, you know, people and families suffer. Um, and a lot of times, I think the most invisible way that we suffer is um, mental illness. And, you know, in a lot of underserved Ameri uh, communities around the country, you know, much like where, where I come from in North Georgia, it's a way that we suffer that we don't have language for, that we don't have resources for. And those things have costs, you know, those issues accumulate and they make it very difficult, I think, for, for people to succeed and for people to love well. And what I love about the play is that it's not, you know, it's not this great sort of like political statement about any of that. It's simply about these people and their humanity and what they're suffering from in a way that I think we can all relate to. Um, I think this play has the ability to educate in a way that's not pedantic at all, um, but to make us you know, more curious about the power of empathy and understanding 